And right now at six tonight, a dramatic and delicate rescue mission after this small plane crashed into a power line over Montgomery County. Hello, everybody. Welcome into News 4 at 6. I'm Jim Adley. And I'm Leon Harris. The pilot and the passenger were just left dangling up there in the air for hours. Miraculously, both of them survived. Now we are hearing from the pilot himself. Yeah, we've just obtained the 911 calls as the pilot describes the scene just moments after crashing into that tower. It's totally a visibility issue. We're looking for the airport. Um, I descended to the uh, minimum altitude, and uh, then apparently I got down a little bit lower than I should have. Wow. First responders were in constant contact with the pilot and passenger for the seven hours they were trapped inside that wreckage, much of it upside down. Yeah, and in the cold last night. Yeah. News Force Paul Wagner joins us now with the latest on the investigation. Investigators say when the pilot of the single engine Mooney Mike plane crashed last night, he first hit the North Tower before becoming entangled in the South Tower. It happened near Goshen Road and Rothbury Drive in Gaithersburg. We were in the house and all of a sudden we heard a loud boom. The house shook and I thought it was a transformer that had blown. The next thing I hear is my wife looked outside and screamed because she could see the sparks flying from the tower. A Montgomery County police officer responding to the crash tells the dispatcher he's been flagged down. The city is it's up into the power towers, I would say probably 100 feet off the ground. Then the 911 dispatcher tells responding officers they have the pilot on the phone. Looks like there were two occupants in the plane. Um, looks like someone's on the phone with the pilot. He's trapped in the plane with the other occupant. The posts are conscious and breathing as far as we know. Fire officials say it then took as long as seven hours before they could reach the two who were in constant communication with rescue personnel on the ground. They were anxious. They were concerned about the stability of the aircraft. And they were disoriented, sitting in the wreckage 100 feet above the ground. Fire Chief Scott Goldstein says it took hours to get the proper equipment to get to the scene so they could safely secure the aircraft and get the two people out safely. One question many people were asking is how the two were not immediately electrocuted. It was my understanding that the propellers came into contact with the wires, but immediately went into the actual structure. So they were not impacting the actual lines where that plane was actually sitting. And we were able to immediately take actions to de-energize, again, that particular area. According to the website FlightAware, Patrick Merkel had been in the air for more than two hours and was on his way back from Westchester, New York, when the plane crashed into the power lines. Now you heard Chief Goldstein say that the uh, pilot uh, and his passenger were very anxious the whole time they were up there. The chief also confirmed that at one point, Patrick Merkel, the pilot, actually tried to get out of the plane and they immediately got back in touch with him and said, stay inside. That is the absolute safest place to be. And he did stay in there until they were able to get those bucket trucks up there and rescue both of them. At this point, we don't know which of the two has been released from the hospital. The NTSB says they will be conducting an investigation. Reporting live from Gaithersburg, Paul Wagner, News 4. All right. Thank you, Paul. Those two very lucky to be alive. The hours long ordeal led to widespread power outages and school cancellations across the county. At one point, Pepco says 100,000 homes and businesses had no power as crews worked quickly to get things back up and running. Montgomery County Public Schools canceled classes today, as did Montgomery County College. They did that as a precaution. Pepco says it was able to restore power to all customers just about six hours after the crash. The utility says that because of the way the system is built, they were able to essentially reroute power from other lines to provide power to the impacted customers. Crews continue to assess the damage, and they are making any necessary repairs.